come on in. Good God Almighty, Jesus, come on in. What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's prelating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to a. I I just I just might get in trouble. <laughs> I just, I just might get in trouble. I might piss some people off. I might piss off some of my fan base. Episode of I ain't saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> With the rock with me. <laughs> Y'all like, yo, why you laughing? Because I really. Okay, look, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, <laughs> leave a comment. If you don't like, <laughs> ooh, leave the constructive comments and all the comments that you want. Because I got a feeling it's going to happen on this one. It, I, I, I'm hoping that it don't. I'm hoping that it's going to be received the way that I intended. I'm going to put some humor in here and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah, don't don't do that don't do that I was walking around here looking like Patrick from Spongebob the square <laughs> I came on right there, so I'm tired of looking like a pineapple around here so she you know she she did something with it you feel me she did something with it she got skills like that but uh <laughs> y'all see the title right if women can do everything a man can do <laughs> <laughs> And I do, fundamentally, I believe that. I got four daughters, and I, I'm not raising my daughters to be weak. Like, that's that's not what that is. Somebody probably said, you ain't doing nothing with daughters. That's another conversation. But having daughters, and I've been the coach of a girls' flag football team, and I, I want to say those those young ladies were, were – uh, those young ladies being mostly uh, ninth and 10th graders, they received and understood the defensive and offensive assignments better than my adult flag football team. And that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That is me actually saying what that is. So well, why I say Because I believe a woman can do what a man can do. And I think a lot of women would come on here and be like, yeah, you're damn right. Damn right, I can do everything a man can do. Okay. Because <laughs> if we saying that, let's say it. Like, if we owning that, let's own that. If that's what that is, that's what that is. Let's not let, let's, as Mr. Ray Smith called me, I'm going to talk to him later. Let's, let's not let that be conditional. Like, let's not let that be when that's beneficial. If that is what that is, and that is what that is, because... I believe that. I, I, I've been raped. My grandfather was the only male figure in my life. I had three women over me. My mom, my aunt, my grandmother. So I'm, I'm not going to do that part. You know, I, I, I ain't, I ain't going to act like a woman can't do what a man can do. I ain't going to act like a woman can't, can't do that. Because watch this. If that's what that is, and that's what we're saying, then we got to under, we got to just come to, we men, women, period. We just got to just, here we go. If a single parent father can't teach, can't raise a girl, a, his daughter to be a woman, then a single parent mother can't raise her son to be a man. It's either they can or they can't. It's either they both capable or they both not capable. What, what we're saying, because I'm, I'm fine either way, because as I started this video off, I believe a woman can do what a man can do. I really, really do. The only thing we're looking at, really, biologically speaking, is the whole assertion process <laughs> and the carrying process. <laughs> we, we, we gonna have a woman president. Like, let's not act like that. We gonna have a woman president. But while some people are like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. She's probably going to be better. I know for a fact she's going to be better than the two that we had before. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. And no, I'm not saying that as somebody who 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 is a Democrat, Republican, if she got some sense, she got some sense. It's not going to matter. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing at him. The person that was in office. 
before who we got right now. And mind you, I'm not a particular fan of the dude we got in office right now. I just know he was better than the last dude. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the last dude probably would have, that dude before the war we got in office right now probably would have been sending troops over to help invade Ukraine, knowing his dumb ass. That's what that's like. Because <laughs> I could roast him all day and not even try. But women, so I, I did some research because I was like, you know what? I want to see some stuff. And, and mind you, I work, I've worked in quite a few call centers. I have. And, and most of the supervisors that I've had at those call centers were women. I want to tell you that those women conducted themselves like men. How so? <laughs> and anybody that worked at that call center is going to be like, he ain't lying. <laughs> and we only had one male. <laughs> Oh Lord, he was the assistant manager, and I felt bad for the dude. He was the assistant manager, white male assistant manager. Every other manager in that building was a black female, and you need to let him know he knew who he was. <laughs> they had ways to let him know. <laughs> they <laughs> the same way a man in a, in a, in a workplace would let a, a female that's by herself let her know what place she's supposed to stay in and if she ain't really finna you know let it be known who she is kind of like the, the the dude we had they're gonna run over him they're gonna run over her and yeah <laughs> i'm not lying I, I i promise on everything Anybody that's rocking with me that worked at that call center that I that 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 we used me my wife and I, we used to work man hell anyway <laughs> but I looked at some stuff because I don't want to keep y'all too long we already at the seven minute mark because I wanted to see some stuff and I like you know what man I I said you know what I want to figure out was there a, a, a female you know, equivalent to the word chauvinist. There is. Have y'all ever heard of it? It's called Miss Miss. I can't even pronounce this damn word because I ain't never heard. It. It's Miss Messages. Miss Andrews. Miss Andrews. Messages. I don't know. M I S A N D R I S T is much. Let listen. If a woman is capable of doing everything a man can do, why are we not using this word? I can't dunk, but I've seen females dunk. <laughs> I race any female, high school and above, in a 40 yard dash, she gonna tear my ass up. Hurdles, <laughs> pole vault, she gonna, basketball, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about that. She gonna give me that good work. Yeah, what, what? And those those events that I just or what we talking about men are supposed to be always just dominant in. That's a lie. What we saying though? So women can't be messengers. Here we go. Ring one back. So I also wanted to know if there was a, a you know the opposite. Well, not opposite, but the female equivalent to masculine or uh, toxic masculinity. I always get that wrong. There is no female equivalent of the ways in which toxic masculinity enables abuse. But ain't, men, ain't, ain't women capable of doing the same things that men can do? They either are or they aren't. And I don't want this to be conditional because I'm going to be confused at times. Y'all already got me with this B word. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be offended when you call yourself a B or not. And I don't know if I'm supposed, I don't even know if I'm supposed to call some of y'all a queen because some of y'all get offended when we call y'all queen. So I, I don't Call me by my name. I don't know your name. I just met you. <laughs> so, there is no female equivalent of the ways in which toxic masculinity enables abuse. The concept of toxic masculinity 
exist to highlight the organized political nature of domestic violence and other forms of violence against women. So women ain't capable of So just me. And then when you open up, because they, they actually have a wiki thing on, on this whole toxic femininity thing. It says toxic femininity is a term used by men's rights advocacy. Well, wouldn't wouldn't toxic masculinity be a term used by women's right advocacy? Does that make them wrong? Because they do. And they advocating women what? Does that make them soft? A minute that both harms me. Toxic femininity is a term used by men's right to rights advocacy ad activists to construct a false equivalency equivalence between toxic masculinity, a manifestation of patriarchy that both harms men and causes men to be violent and aggressive against women and occasionally other men, and patriarchal limitations on women's gender presentation and expression. So, y'all ain't see I love New York? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Um, if you look at the Bachelorette show and compare it to the Bachelor show, you got men nitpicking at each other for the services of a woman, just like you got women nitpicking at each other for the services of a man. That's so, I just, you know, I, I'm gonna do well rounded, well versed. Love women. But so we saying we saying women won't kill, can't kill just because they want to. We saying women not prone to violence. That's what we saying. Uh, we saying that every woman is a better parent off the rip than a fault than a man. Is that what we saying? Because there's historical context to say otherwise. Just like what we said, we said every man is a because if I say a man is always better than a woman, what am I saying? If I'm saying that men are better at certain things than women, how women gonna take that? How y'all gonna receive that? So if oh if what we saying and what we promoting are that women are equivalent to men, that's why we talking about women should I had to actually snap on this dude one time who said that a woman did not deserve equal pay for a man. If a woman does the same job a man does, she deserves the same pay a man does. I don't know why X and Y chromosome just determines the rate of pay. I don't, it's the job performance. What the hell are we saying? But if I get that, I understand that what we saying? What are we saying? So Theo, y'all ask, cause I don't, Theo, why are you doing this video? We need to figure this damn thing out. Cause I seen how this whole thing played out in getting to Chala recast and honoring Chadwick Boseman. I seen it. how this thing played out with the kids. We've been seeing how this thing played out since, especially with us, especially with us, since the, the welfare got introduced and everything like that. Come on, but if we come together and say we in this thing together as opposed to sitting up and saying, oh, I'm better than you, you better than me, based on a damn chromosome, we'd be in a much better place. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.